Hi guys, look what I've got here. It's the official CBBS annual for 2018. And of course, we always get the magazine, so it's really cool to get the annual because this is like a thick, well, it's like a book really, and it should last you a long time with lots and lots of different activities. So I thought we could have a flick through and see what's inside this. And the thing about annuals is, if you wait until the middle of January, everything goes on sale. So you can tell your parents to have a look for these because it's a real bargain. So here's the CBeebies house with the bugs and let's have a look inside. And here you can write your name because it asks you who it belongs to and then you see what's inside. And I think you've pretty much got all the main CBeebies characters here. So there's a bit of everything. So first of all, there's all about me and here you can write about yourself draw your face here and how old you are too so you've got all the favorite CBeebies presenters on there too then we've got some hey Dougie hey Dougie is the fun loving leader of the squirrel club of course we love Dougie here look at this isn't that adorable so you can do some tracing and some dot to dot too CBeebies always has a lot of learning activities in here so it's great for kids then we've got the swashbuckle team with some coloring in and also some Things. These are the moves, eye patch and pirate hats from the show. Then we have just imagine. This is Monty. This is from Kazoop, Monty and Jimmy Jones, and this is a really kind of biggish maze, which is cool, and some spotting to do, some different fish. Then we have Dr. Ranch and it's be happy, be happy, be healthy. And this is good because we're learning about all the foods that we should be trying to eat all the time because it's good for our bodies. And then we've got some drawing to do. So definitely get your pencil crayons and felt tips ready to do this. And then we've got Niagara Falls. And of course it's the Go Jetters. And the Go Jetters, we have a story this time. This is kind of like the best of all the magazines put together. <laughs> And then we've got the story in here, something to read. Then we've got Andy's uh, Dinosaur Adventures. This is the Stegosaurus. And we can decorate this however we like with some colours. Gives you some ideas here, spotty or stripy. Then we've got the Alpha Blocks, good old Alpha Blocks. And we've got like a really simple crossword to do, which is great for young children, because you can put these words in and there's clues, and you can finish that. And then here it says, tick each word as you find it on the word search, look across and down. Okay. So it's nice and simple, but challenging enough for young children. Then we've got Mr. Tumble, and Mr. Tumble is colouring it in, and it says finish the rainbow with your crayon. So it's good to have some ready when you're doing this, and you can do some really nice, neat colouring in. And this is cool too at the bottom. Justin will show you how to sign each of the colours. So you can learn how to do those as well. Then on the next page, we've got Sarah and Doug, one of the most relaxing cartoons there is. This is the Pond Princess. And when you read this together with your parent, um, what happens is when you see the symbol for Sarah, you would say Sarah. And it's a really nice way of reading together. Then we've got, of course, we've got more colouring in. And it's Octonauts this time, which is another great show. Then we have Topsy and Tim. Topsy and Tim out here, you can do some tracing the lines and some writing. It's good for practicing letters, actually. Then we've got Mr. Maker, of course, for crafting and drawing. And again, we do some more tracing, which is good for pen control. And then we can colour these in too. Here too, look, you can draw your hand and make it into a fish. That's a cute idea. Then we've got the Frocklets. Well, this is Clangers, which used to be a classic cartoon, but they brought it back. This is adorable. So then we have to find them and fill in the chart. Next up, we've got the Fun Run. And this is Mr. Bloom's nursery. Of course, he's got all the vegetables. I've not seen this for a while, actually. But I hope they bring it back because we've got the butternut squash and all those different vegetables. Then we've got Chuggington. Good old Chuggington. We've got Wilson, Brewster and Coco, the main three trains. And we can do some colouring in here and some tracing too. Then we've got Mini Beast Adventures with Jess. And here we have to do counting how many stripy bugs can you count and lots of colouring in. This is good for the detail. Look at the detail in that. And then next we've got Tiger. Oh, back to Andy's Wild Adventures. And this is great. This has got a tiger. I know somebody who would love doing this. And we can fill in the stripes. I think those stripes will be black, but it's up to you guys. 
And then we've got kittens, because this is Andy's baby animals. These are animals that we may have in our own home. This kitten is so fluffy and cute. And then next we've got Timmy time. <laughs> this is cool, we've got some tracing to do here. There's different ways that Timmy might hop. Then we've got Wooly and Tig. And this time we're doing some counting there, some tracing. And we can also, this is a nice one, we can match up our emotions of how we feel. Not all of these cartoons have individual magazines, so if you do like to try a bit of everything, it's a good it's good to buy this annual because you get to try a little bit of everything. Then we've got Peter Rabbit and he's burrowing. Next up we've got Kate and Mim. -Mim. This is colouring in. Again, we've got Gobble, Tack, Mim Mim, Boomer, Lily and Kate. Oh, we've got Grimbots now from the Go Jetters. And this time we have to spot the different colours and all the different ones. Because the Grimbots look quite similar, don't they? But we're trying to find the differences here. Then next up we've got Dodge. Oh, Dodge in the CBB's house. Dodge. And of course, talking about dogs. This is really cute. And this is a nice guy because this will show you how to draw a dog. Then next up we've got Justin's house, one of our favourites. It says wave hello to Justin and his friend and spot the differences. And here we can do some more tr uh, tracing, the numbers and also the letters. And then of course we've got the good old number blocks. Count on us. Circle the number blocks to finish the sum. Number blocks is quite new. I think the first cartoon came out in 2017. So it's cool that they've included it in the annual. So we can do some maths here. And then next up we've got back to Dougie. And this is my dot to dot. And this is kind of a bit more complicated. Well, a bit harder because the dots are smaller. But this is good for slightly older children. Then we've got Peter Rabbit. And this time we're tracing letters. And we're trying to learn the alphabet, I think. Then we've got this game, and this is a swashbuckle game, and you can just use dice and anything you like as a little um, counter. Then we've got octonauts again, and this time we're doing snakes. We're learning about the Amazon jungle. Then we've got gigglebids. I've seen gigglebids for a while. Tee -hee. And then we've got these different jokes. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're really into jokes at the moment, so these will be good. Let's try one. What time is it when an elephant sits on your fence, time to get a new fence. So that's cool. And then we've got some crafting. Egg Boxosaurus. Get creative and make a dinosaur out of recycled egg, egg boxes. We tend to have one of these. And look at that, isn't that cool? You turn it upside down. I think you need more than one though. You probably need two. Yeah, you need two egg boxes to make this. That's a good activity to do. Then we've got fruity faces, get scribbling, and we can add some funny faces. Oh, because the annual, you don't get any stickers with this. But if you're like me and you have the leftover magazines, you've got a ton of leftover stickers anyway. That's right. Then we've got Jack and the Beanstalk. Actually, we really, really like this story at the moment. We're reading this at school. So this will be another good one for us to read at bedtime. And then we've got the answers to all the different questions here. And that's it, and then it's night time. Now this will keep you busy for ages, I think. It's really good for younger children and school age kids too. So there's all the different characters. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the slip through of the CBB's 2018 annual, and I will see you again next time. Bye. Guys, remember to like and subscribe. What do you like to see next?